Motorcycling uh, for me is, um, I won't say freedom because that's a, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's, it's a time out. It's, it's a moment where I get to go and just indulge um, my, my hobbies of photography and now motorcycling. It's, it's, a, it's a minute I can just go and not have to think about work and not have to think about all the other stresses that you have in life. And I, and I love that about it. I love it when you, cause you, because you can't think of anything else when you're on a bike. You just you're just riding, and even if you don't have anywhere particular to go, it's just once you're out of the traffic and you're into the little windy lanes and flowing roads and zone into riding the bike, and that's all that you're doing. And I, I love that. I love that sort of focus of just doing one thing and trying to do it well. I'm lucky enough to live on the edge of the Peak District, so within five minutes I can be up in the hills on wonderful flowing fast bendy roads um, with great views as well you know and, and very little traffic uh, I'm very fortunate to have that on my doorstep My first motorcycle was a little 125 uh, in Thailand on Koh Samui when I was in my early 20s and I didn't have a bike license, I didn't have a car license um, and the rental guy um, just gave me a five minute lesson down the street, basically told me how to put it in gear and you know this side is for brakes, this side is for changing gears and off I went um, and, and I loved it, I loved every second of it, it was fantastic. So in early 2020, um, COVID arrived in the UK and we didn't know how bad it was going to get. And, and I was also, I was turning 40 that year. So I decided that, you know, it's, it's now or never because you don't know when you're going to have to leave the party. Um, and, and I didn't want to get to the end of mine and, and not ever having ridden a motorcycle properly. So I, I found an instructor who was willing to do, do lessons, which was rare at that time, uh, a lot of places were shut down uh, and somehow I managed to get through all my lessons and get through the tests at all first go and by the time I turned 40, not long after, I, I had a full motorbike license and I bought my first bike uh, which was a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 um, and, and I loved it, I thought that was a fantastic bike. Um, the bike I have now is a Triumph Bonneville T120 it's a 2017 model, and I had no intention of buying it. Um, my best friend lives abroad, and he wanted to buy a T120, so I, he wanted to get one from Britain, um, just because where he is, there isn't a, a huge dealer network. Um, and so I was looking around at different bikes for him. The, the instant that I got on it, I, I knew this is the bike that I wanted. It's just something, it's not vastly different from the Interceptor, but it's, it's enough that I knew that this was the bike that I wanted. and. I, um, I, I bought it that day and, and that evening I got home and I put the Interceptor up for sale. And, and, and I love it, I don't think I'll ever sell the Silver Dagger as it's been called. It's a camera, yeah. Well I have a YouTube channel with All About the Bike so... Yeah, yeah so... Uh, it's called Classic Rides. Yeah. So it's just me. Yeah. Oh, there's cameras all over it. <laughs> I started the YouTube channel mainly, I think, because everyone really was opposed to me getting a motorbike. Um, and I think I really wanted to show my partner, uh, Jen, and my mum, mainly, um, that it, you know, it, being on a motorcycle doesn't necessarily mean riding at 100 miles an hour and slamming into a parked car somewhere. It's, it can be a little bit slower paced, it can be a relaxing thing you know, and a nice way to spend the day. And I, I think I wanted to make some videos to show them that. And then the, the more I did it, the more I, I, I sort of realised that actually this is, it's, it's an extension of photography, which is something that I, I really love doing. And then I, I, I really enjoyed the process of 
putting together a video uh, and making it. Um, and, and so, kind of unexpectedly from motorcycling, I developed a new, another hobby of uh, filmmaking. Um, which I'm still learning it, I'm still, I'm, I'm still winging it a lot. Um, but I, I enjoy doing it and, and it's nice on YouTube that, you know, some other people seem to like the videos that I do too, so. I, 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 I don't think I'll ever w not want to have a motorcycle now. I don't know how I went so long without one. Um, um, uh, um, um, this is absolute nonsense. Hang on a second. Let me close this.